Speaking class now. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Today is about speaking. So if you guys can do it, you can open your video or camera and we can talk about these topics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes, you can hear me. So in toy, uh, in IELTS, we have three parts, right? Speaking will be three parts. Part one will be, I can use the visual aids to help you guys. Da -da. So in part one will be introduction and interview. This will be four to five minutes. And then this section, we will introduce him or herself and you he's going to ask you some questions like what do you study where do you live where are you from what do you like something like that very basic about yourself and for the answer for this part will be easy as well you just talk about your personal experience and your personal beliefs means what you, you what do you think but in this part, there are some skills as well. And in part two, the individual long-term, today we are going to discuss this part the most. So this part will be describing something like an object or a museum or something you like to do when you have free time. So this part, there will be the questions on the piece of paper Then you can prepare for one minute but you have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes, okay? I think more than one minute will be better. You don't, you cannot just answer a few sentences at the end, then you cannot get the good grades. And in part three, well, based on the topic in part two, the examiners will ask you some questions. Like for part two, we are talking about uh, you, you have to tell me your favorite book. Then in part three, the person is going to ask you, when do you like to read? After, uh, after, after you wake up or you, before you go to bed or when you are on the underground, the subway, when do you like to read? Something like that. You are going to have the discussion. Then in assessment here, it's based on your fluency. So fluency is the most important part. Fluency means how fluent you can speak without lots of, uh, um, well, or uh, uh, something like this. This is not fluent. Fluency means you can speak the sentences not very fast, but very slow, but in a very steady pace, but the person can understand what you're talking about. And of, of course, the vocabulary. So today we are going to focus on this part as well. We are going to give you lots of vocabulary. And also you are going to tell me some of the words, how can we improve? And also the range of grammar and the accuracy, of course, and pronunciation, all right? Mm. Next part, we are going to look at the first part. So if I ask you, what's the most interesting thing about your hometown? Then you can say the most, and you don't, 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 don't say the most interesting thing about my hometown is. You just say it's the da, 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 okay? And you can expand the questions by saying most people find this interesting because, or most people find this fascinating because, okay? Any questions? 
All right, so we are going to talk about this question now, but how to answer? How to answer what is the most What's the most interesting thing about my hometown? You have four ways to answer it. Give a reason, offer an example, give details or speculate. So for example, you can say, um, my, uh, the most famous or the most interesting thing about for example, I'm from Bangkok. You can say from uh, in Bangkok is, is what? It's the shopping mall because foreign visitors love to visit the shopping malls. So that is the reason. Example, you can say I'm from Chiang Mai. So in Chiang Mai, there are people like to go to the temples. For example, temple A, blah, 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 and temple B, blah, blah, blah. So you give an example and details. So like this, where do you come from? I come from Mashhad in Iran and it's well known as a religious center and it's really crowded most of the time. So this person is telling you not just the country, but what is the place famous for? The last one is speculate. Speculate means if you don't know it, if you don't know it, then you have to think about another way to help you out. For example, we say, what is the most interesting thing about your hometown? Then you, you think, oh, oh, there's nothing interesting in my hometown. So you can say, uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's interesting thing about my hometown, but if you come to my country, I would suggest you to go to Phuket or Chiang Mai or Bangkok. So you use another way to tell someone other information instead of just staying there and say you don't know. Okay, let's do the practice now. So later, I'm going to pick some of you and you are going to tell me the name, your name, and your answer for this question, okay? The question is, what's the most interesting thing about your hometown? Oh, first of all, you have to tell me where are you from? Okay, I will give you 30 seconds to think first. All right, we can do it. So the first student's name is Jacket. Jacket, right? Yes, teacher. How uh, do you want to tell us your name in easy? What's your oh. name? Yes, um good afternoon, teacher and everyone. Uh, let me do myself. My name is Jacket. Jacket, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will do my best <laughs> for this question. Sure. Well, um, is an aquarium because here is have in my workspace is have attached to the seashore, which is have a lot of beaches in Brazil, Kirikan province. It's have mm -hmm. around two more more than two hundred kilometers. So I think that the aquarium is the most interesting in my province. Because 
here is not just about tourism work pick, a tourism pages, but as well as educational with the learning with Marlene's biology as well. So this is a very unique, but due to the situation of COVID-19 here, we have to cost. But we didn't stop for um, public relation, we still have to access to um, easily like in, in Facebook or TikTok. Okay. Thank you. Good. So you can say, so you are under lockdown now. You can say everything is under lockdown, means no one can go out, something like that. All right. I think most um, most of it is very good and it's very fluent and you, you give us lots of information. Okay, we will come back to you later. So another student's name is Parinha, right? Parinha? Hello. Hey, she's gone. He's gone or she's gone. P-S-D. I see PSD. Hello. 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 How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. I'm from uh oh, my name is Pai. Yes. I'm from Bye. Nakhon Patum. Pai. Mm. Yes, I'm from Nakhon Patum. Mm. The most interesting is temple is named Prabhatum Jedi. It's mm. the biggest. JD in Thailand. Mm. And we have Sanam Jan Palace. It mm -hmm. was built in Russia mm -hmm. Sorry. Um finish. Okay. So if you use an adjective to describe the place, how would you describe the place? Um, like, is it fun? Is it busy? Is it crowded? Is it Sanam Jan Palace. Uh, mm. It's peace. Yes, yes it's um in after afternoon Wednesday they have a band music band. Mm -hmm. Yes, every 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 Wednesday. Mm. Yes, and it's used work out and running. So it's famous for the regular, you said band, right? It's famous for the regular, you can say events or activity, okay? You can use this sentence, okay? I think later, because later we are going to talk about some adjectives, you can have more ideas. So how about, okay, thank you. Let's move on to next student, um, um, Ying, right? Hello, can you talk now? No? Okay, move on to the next one first. Yo, uh, yo, yolk. Hi, Yolk. Can you? Yes. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Hi. So can you tell us, tell everyone here, what is the most oh. interesting about your hometown? First of all, your name and where are you from? OK. Um, hello, my name is um, I am Yolk. Um, my hometown is Songkra, which is the southern of Thailand, um, the tour, uh, the tour, the tourist attraction in mm -hmm. my hometown is um, is the is the sea. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, we we have um that there are the sea in in the in the city with uh with take around um 20 minutes from my from my house to go there mm -hmm. uh -huh. and um, moreover moreover um we have 
uh, moreover, Hat Yai is the another, like uh, another city, another sub, um, another upper like uh, sub district oh, in right. Songkhla. Yeah, in Songkhla, in Songkhla, which is the business center because um it's next to um Malaysia, so um it's very um famous suburb. Mm. Uh huh. Okay. It's good. So you said, uh, you like to visit. Uh, tourists like to visit the beach, and which is okay. five minutes from your house, right? Five minutes or twenty minutes? I forgot. Uh, 20, 20 minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yes. Okay. So you can use the sentence pattern, and also the retreats. Retreat is the for the hotel, like a hotel, right? For the bigger one, you can have the ocean, and it is closer. It is near the border uh -huh. with Malaysia. Have you ever been to Malaysia? No. Oh, well, I wanted to travel there. <laughs> okay, thank you for your sharing. Thank you. So, who is the next one? Um, 242. Right, two four two. Can you talk now? Oh hi. Yes, sir. Hi, um, Pai Shat Tap Tong. I you can call me Pai. Excuse me. What do you say? We can call you. Can Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, you can call me Pai. Thai. Thai. Oh, okay. Pi. P I A I. Right. Yeah. Okay. I come from Pejuat Pihan. My home is my hometown. Uh huh. And the most interesting thing about my hometown, I think, is a uh, beach. Oh, mm. Pejuat. Uh, uh, Manau, uh, no, it's a uh, tea bay in, in my hometown. Yeah, it. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a uh, beautiful for my hometown. Yes. Okay, so you can enjoy. So you can say, okay, everyone, you don't have to say the most interesting thing about my hometown is you just say it's famous or it's interesting about or it's famous for its beach and bay and you can enjoy if you want to say like but like is very easy you can use this word enjoy you can enjoy the ocean view in my hometown okay Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Um, um, um. Right. I hope I pronounced it right. Can you talk now, or you are driving or out outside? You can let us know later. Okay. Okay. Maybe we let Cho Tan. Can you share? Tell Sam, can you talk? Maybe he's busy. Okay, anyway. So that will be the first one. That will be the warm up practice for today. So remember, because you guys tell us the details and some of you gave us the examples like the beach's name or the temple's name, which is good. And also you can tell us more details, but today we are focusing on part two. And we are going to describe something. So you can describe, there are six topics. Describe a person, describe a place, describe an object means things, or describe an event, 
describe an activity and describe your favorite favorites. Favorite means something you like, okay? So prepare the idea and the vocabulary, not the grammar. We will use the place as, as an example, like the city you have visited before, the city you have visited, like you want to visit, and somewhere you went on holiday or a historic place. Historic place. For example, like Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya, right? Ayutthaya is the old capital in Thailand. So that is his, a historic place means it's historically important. And the journey where you want to go or where you went before. And your hometown, we just finished this one. And your favorite place in the city, it can be a coffee shop, it can be school, it can be library, it can be anywhere. And your favorite, uh, your favorite restaurant, okay? So let's talk about your favorite restaurant first. Oh, the restaurant can be street food anywhere. You can find food that is a restaurant, okay? And tell us what do you like in the restaurant and why, okay? So if you don't know what to say, think about the WH questions. What do you like from the restaurant? And why do you like it? And how does it taste? Does it taste uh, very, uh, you can say spicy, or you can say mushy. Do you know mushy? It means it's wet, like water on the bread that will be very mushy. Or you can say it's very chewy, it means you have to chew for a long time, or it is flavorful. It's lots of flavor. You can taste the spice, you can taste the seafood, you can taste the beef, you can have lots of flavor in your in your mouth. So that is flavorful. And and who who do you like to go with? You can say, I like to go there alone and enjoy my afternoon, something like that. All right, so let's talk about your favorite restaurant. You, can, you guys can think first, and I'm going to share my favorite restaurant with you guys. Okay, let's talk about the restaurants. I'm going to share my first, okay? The favorite restaurant I chose was the one I went to in 2018, which is three years ago. That was the first time I was in Thailand with my best friends. We went to Thailand for the trip and we were very, very hungry. So very, very hungry, you can say, starving. We were starving at that time and we saw a restaurant called Nara, Nara Thai. It was a Thai food restaurant in the shopping mall. So we went there and it was amazing. The food there is the tradition, they said, the traditional local food from Thailand. So we ordered 
what would we order? We ordered Pad Thai, Tom Yam Gong, and um, Gen Kiao Wan. And I thought that was flavorful in the curry, the in, in the green curry. And also for the Tom Yam Gong, I thought that was very spicy for the foreigners like me because I couldn't really eat the food that was that spicy, but at the same time, I liked the spice in, in the soup. It was so rich in the, it was rich in the flavor of the prawn, prawns, which makes it very unforgettable, I think, especially the restaurant was very important to me because that was the first restaurant I went I went to in Thailand with my best friends. So that was an unforgettable. Okay, so let's talk about your favorite restaurant now. So Tom, do you want to share first? Can you talk now? Okay. Okay. So, like, you want us to try follow these directions? You only just talk about your favorite restaurant. It's okay. Oh, in whatever is not like the patterns of your IELTS teaching plan. You guys follow what is it? And what do you like from the restaurant? Why? And how does it taste? And who do you go with? Okay. Okay, I can start now. How many, how long can I talk? Just one minute. Okay. You can tell me when I can start. Okay. Okay, hello. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the favorite food I have because the, the COVID-19 pandemic changed me a lot. I used to go out with my families, like in different type of food. But now I am the main chair at home. So I, 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 I cook it for my mother and my brother every evening. And in the weekend, we go to the like best grocery shop in Bangkok, buying some good premium ingredients and made my home made food. So I love cooking like salmon because it's late fat. So this is my favorite meal and my favorite restaurant is in my house with my people. Mm, that's good. You see, you don't really have to say the name of the restaurant. Even your home can be a restaurant, right? Just, just tell us what do you like because for the restaurant, it's all about food and the people in the restaurant. Even you don't have the restaurant, you say McDonald's. You say my favorite restaurant is McDonald's because the people there were so friendly. So I love to go to McDonald's and it's so fast and I don't have to think what to eat. Everything is okay. Even 7-Eleven. Oh, I love 7-Eleven in Thailand. So yummy. I want to travel. Okay, by the way, who is going to share now? Jacket. Okay, we just follow the order, okay? Jacket, where is your favorite restaurant and what is it? Okay, I am going to talk about my favorite restaurant, which is, I think is it's called Thanun Kondern or Walking Street Food. I'm not sure mm -hmm. with English words. And I really loved to go to eat Shabu Shabu because it's so convenient. It's very cheaper when just pick, picking the, the um, ingredients by myself. So, I think this is um, really yummy and spicy as well. So I really love to go with my courage because this um, have to occur around weekend, which is around Friday and Saturday. So I think that I love to go with my courage, but sometimes I love to go by myself for more convenience. So this is my favorite. Uh, food and very strong. Thank you. I think it's very good. You said shabu shabu in Japanese restaurant. You can also say this Japanese hot pot. And you said why you like it because you can pick the ingredients you like and the taste 
was yummy and spicy at the same time, and you like to go with your colleagues. I think you can talk about this a little bit more. I had some earlier, like because you you may go review how to use adjective because you have adjective like really cheaper that is not make sense. Cheaper is, is comparative. You can really cheaper. You can just use really cheap. Or maybe sometimes you talk about you try to have some final sounds like you talk about college. Yes, we understand, but does it could be a college? So you should talk about a college judge. If you thought you were going to say that a plural, a plural now, so it's a little little mistake that we will deduct your point. I think if you want to say more cheaper, you can just say because the the restaurant is quite affordable. Affordable means you can pay for the price, and you say with colleagues, and you can also say because you like to share. The food, or you like to share um, the experience, or talk about what happened in the day, and also you like to go alone because you can enjoy the time with the food and yourself. That was good. Okay, thank you for your sharing. Let's move on to wait five, right? Five. I think I pronounced it right. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Uh, here is PSD. It's bye, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, bye. 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 So T T A I. Hi. Yes. Oh, um, I thought it was bye. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Um. So, my favorite restaurant is Chalalavadi restaurant. It's, it's got Thai food. Uh, uh, in the first time I see, it look like home, cozy, comfort, and little people. Yes, it's so soft. Um, why I like to go there? Because Thai is so good. Yes, sweet, sour, and salt, and chewy noodle, soft chew. Uh, I go to there with my family. We have family time about after working. Yes, it have a nice folk song. Yes, and it's so nearly my home. Thank you. Okay, so some of the grammar. Okay, thank you for your sharing. But some of the grammar here is like, uh, we don't say go to there. We just say go there. Okay. Okay. No to. And you say I like the, I like the family time. So you can just make family time the subject. You just say family time is important to me so because this is the point this is the most important thing in the sentence so what is important in the sentence you make it the subject and it is near my home all right and also like this one in the first time if you don't say in the first time you can say the first time i went there you can say the first time i went there I was, wait, let me change it to the whiteboard. The first time I went there, I was impressed with the food, especially Thai. Excuse me, teacher, I, I didn't see anything. Hey, you didn't see anything? What's wrong with it? Oh, oh it's God. coming. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Sometimes it will be a, it will, it will lag behind for a few seconds, especially pad thai. And you said it was da 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 sweet and sour and the chewy noodles with the chewy noodles. Yes, I love pad thai as well. Okay. 
แล้วก็คุณตายคุณตายคุณตายนะครับนิดนิดนึงคืออ่ามันจะมีส่วนกลับมาหรือว่านักเรียนคนอื่นด้วยเนาะปกติคุณจะกิดอะจะถามมาบ่อยแล้วผมก็จะจะส่งจะส่งคอเล็กไปให้ว่าส่วนไหนที่เป็นเออร์เลอร์แล้วว่าที่ต้องอินฟูฟใช่ไหมดังนั้นเมื่อกี้เมื่อกี้ที่ลองฟังของคุณตายคือส่วนกลับมาจะมีคือบางทีการพูดเนาะโอเคเราเราเข้าใจว่าพูดได้แต่ว่าการที่จะพูดให้มันเพลาะขึ้นหรือว่าให้มันชัดเจนมากขึ้นเราต้องพูดตามหลักแกรมมาแล้วก็ถูกหลักแกรมมาอย่างเมื่อกี้มันจะมีเออเล็กๆน้อยๆระหว่างนั้นอย่างแบบอย่างการใช้อย่างที่เราแอนกาลังเสริมเข้าไปแล้วก็ลองลองไปโฟกัสที่แบบพวกการใช้อัจฉริยะมันจะมีมันจะมีในออนไลน์คอร์สในในตัวที่เป็นแบบคลาสแกรมมาลองดูเอกสารจริงๆแต่ละคลาสมันจะมีประมาณ2ชั่วโมงเนาะวิธีการเรียนใช่ไหมแต่ว่าเราอะเราบางทีเรารู้อยู่แล้วเราอาจจะแบบคลิปหรือว่าเล่นให้มันเร็วขึ้นมาได้ให้มันจบภายในสักชั่วโมงหนึ่งหรือ45นาทีเร่งแบบข้ามอย่างที่เราพอเข้าใจก็ดูเพื่อเป็นการรีวิวหลักแกมมากของเราว่าเราฝึกใช้ยังไงให้ถูกต้องแล้วก็ลองฝึกแต่งประโยคตามตอนตอนที่แบบตอนถ่ายมันจะมีแบบแบบฝึกหัดลองทําแบบฝึกหัดตามจะได้ใช้ตัวแกมมาให้ถูกแล้วอย่างอย่างเมื่อกี้ของคุณตายก็ก็จะเน้นเรื่องพวกการใช้แกมมากับกับกับเทนส์เทนส์เบสิกตอนนั้นผมจะสรุปเป็นเป็นเทนส์ต่างๆให้ตามเทนส์ที่จําเป็นที่ต้องใช้ที่เจอที่เจอจริงๆในในการฟังพูดอ่านเขียนที่มันสามารถมาสอบ IELTS ได้ใช่ไหมครับอย่างนั้นลองลองไปดู tense เพิ่มนิดนึงแล้วมันจะทําให้การใช้ภาษาอังกฤษดีมากๆเลยคือคือเมื่อกี้ดีแล้วครับแต่ว่าต้องการแบบพัฒนาขึ้นอีกนิดนะครับขอบคุณค่ะโอเคสวัสดีครับขอบคุณค่ะโอเคสวัสดีครับขอบคุณค่ะ Okay, who's next one? Yoke, right? Yes. Hello. Hello. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about favorite restaurant. It is a uh, Thai cuisine, which is located uh, at Ayutthaya, called. Um, เรือนไทยกุ้งเผา because um, I like I like seafood very much. It's um uh, it's spicy and um it's uh the ma the material uh they use is quite um fresh and clean. So uh, I I love to go there very much. Moreover, um the atmosphere around the restaurant is very um. It's very, um, like a comfortable. Uh -huh. It's it's uh it's near the river. So when uh when I I have lunch with my family, I can um relax and uh look around the restaurant. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, very good. So you like the atmosphere. Sometimes you can use this word ambience to talk about because atmosphere is good. It's a good word. It's in the restaurant or in the hotel, in somewhere you can enjoy the atmosphere. But ambience is also because of the decoration or because of the people there, and so you can enjoy the ambience. You said it's comfortable. It's also good, but when you when you talk about a place to make you relax, you feel more relaxed. You can say cozy. So you can say, "I like how cozy the restaurant is. Mm -hmm. It is near the river." Where you can enjoy the view from the table, from where you sit, right? Yes. So, but what was the the most uh, delicious food there? I I forgot. Yes, very delicious. Uh, what what was it? Ah, oh, um, gung pao, um, like a pond, um. Can you describe what is in the food? <laughs> I don't know the vocabulary. Uh, gong pao like uh, um the pond that um burn with with fire. Oh, a grill <laughs> pond. Uh, yeah, yeah, grill, yeah, yeah, grill pond. It's good, but 
if you really don't know real, you the way you describe it is good. You try to describe in your words, then that is what uh, IELTS is all about. They said if you they said if you don't know the word, you describe it. Okay. So for example, in Taiwan, we have the most delicious food, the street food. If I say the name, you don't know, but I will describe it to you guys. It is the oyster. It is called oyster omelets, which means um, that is the oyster in the egg roll with the red spicy sauce and sometimes with some vegetables and the prawns and it will be spicy and salty at the same time. So in your mind, you can maybe you have the imagination of an egg roll and the oyster and the prawn inside with the red sauce. So maybe you don't know the taste, but at least you can have something, the picture in your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, Tom, do you know the food, this one? It's gone. Okay. Next one. The student is crying. Cry. Are you here? Did you talk to me? Oh, um, not now. I want to talk to Cry. You talk to Parisa okay. Timeka. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi, okay. What um, is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is uh, about a uh, noodle from Yamku. Yeah, in location is in a uh, province in Pajot, Thi Han. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's why do you like the noodles there? Because it uh, looks like a tom yum cool. Mm. Yeah, I, I love uh, taste salt. I, I like the salt. Oh, well, I like the sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, oh, that's it. It's okay. Yeah. All right. So, do you often go to the restaurant? How often do you go there? Hi. I go uh about one one time for a month. Yeah. Oh, once a month. Because, yeah, because I st I stay in a uh, another hobby. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you can say I go there once a week, uh, once a month. Okay, I go there once. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so, uh, for the the taste of the food, do you have other adjectives to describe it? Like, is it spicy? Is it sour? Is it very sweet? Something like that. It is a uh, salt, salt and spicy. Salty, spicy. I think you can. Uh, sometimes we say salty will be something bad. Means too much salt. So you can say spicy and flavorful. For the flavor, okay. Okay. Good. That is good. So later we are going to talk about the places more. So let's look at, take a look at this one. Preparation tip. When you are preparing for the place, then you can think about a theme for the
the place. The theme may be it is an interesting place and start with the easy adjectives like fun, lively, maybe it's an amusement park like Disneyland. So Disneyland in your mind, you will think, oh, it's an interesting place. So I will use fun and lively to talk about the place. Does anyone know what is lively? Lively means everyone go there and you can see the smile and it's people are laughing and shouting and screaming everywhere. You feel the place is full of people and full of life. So you can say lively, okay? And search for better words or phrases. Maybe you can say fun. You can say fascinating or unforgettable because it was so fun, so interesting. So the time flew by very fast, okay? We are not going to talk about the place now, for now. Uh, later, we are going to have a break time. Before the break time, I want you guys to think about a thing you want to buy, you want to buy recently. For example, if you want to buy the book, a book, okay, you have to tell us what is it and how people describe the thing. How would you describe the thing you want to buy? Okay. And how much is it? And also, what do you use it for? So I will put it in the whiteboard first because I'm going to show you a website. I mean, I put it here. Mm, this is not a good color. Okay, it's better. So you all have your cell phone or computer, right? I want you guys to go to this website now and later, let me show you first. We go to Amazon, everyone knows Amazon, and you type in the thing you want to buy the most. For example, I want to buy some instant coffee. So you see, there are lots of coffees here, right? So maybe I'll go to, okay, let's say Starbucks instant coffee, then you have five minutes to read about the item. So you see, every day you can find a thing, one thing you type in to Amazon and try to find the English there. How do they describe the thing? Maybe it's vitamin B, maybe it's AirPods, or a mug, or even just a pencil. You can see how do they use English to describe the thing. For example, I want to buy the instant coffee from Starbucks, and I especially like the medium roast coffee, and the coffee tastes just like what we brew. Brew means to cook but you cook coffee, brew in our cafes, and one jar or one can can make up to 40 cups, right? It tastes smooth and balanced with the creamy notes of milk, milk chocolate and nuts. It tastes like creamy milk chocolate and nuts, right? Very easy. So I like to drink this coffee every day when I wake up. And you can see how people describe the coffee. See here, people describe the coffee. And also there are some comments. 
choo, 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 choo. Just regular plain and some coffee grounds, no sugar premixed. If you like Starbucks coffee, you might like this. It tastes great and smooth, not bitter. Okay, so you have lots of reviews here. You can read the reviews as well. You can see how do they use English to describe the, the thing you want to buy, okay? So as you can see, oh, nothing here. Okay, they say convenient. I find it convenient occasionally. Occasionally means often. So I will give you guys five minutes. You use your cell phone or you use your laptop to go to Amazon and type in one thing you want to buy. If you really don't have, if you have nothing to buy, then you just type in this one, coffee, Nescafe, instant coffee, and you describe this one because this is what I bought yesterday. <laughs> This is really good. This is one of the best instant coffee in the market. Okay, everyone, any questions you can type in the chat and ask me. But if you don't have questions, you go to your website and find the thing you want to buy. What do you want to buy? Let me see. You can buy Tesla here. No, you can buy, but you cannot buy Tesla here. AirPods.
Okay, five minutes. Are we ready? Do you guys need more time or you're okay? Okay, we still go from jacket. Are you ready? Uh, I will type my best teacher. Okay, sure. What do you want to buy? Well, the things I would want to buy is Apple MacBook Air laptop. Mm -hmm. And this is the thinness of the notebook. And this is completely different from the artist version because it is have the Apple M1 chip. And the price of this is around three thousand. Oh, sorry, three hundred fifty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. And I want to buy this because my own notebook is quite low and is not very old as well. So if I want to buy this, I I would love to buy this. Thank you. Okay, so you can see there are lots of adjectives here. You guys can learn from the adjectives and the adverbs. You can say it is amazingly to use or it is amazingly light, amazingly easy to use, and it combines intelligent design with the breakthrough technology. You can say the MacBook Air is with the breakthrough technology, means the best, the best technology, and also with crystal clear sound. Because I'm using the MacBook Air now, I think that the sound is quite clear. But if you describe clear sound, maybe you can also use this one, crystal clear sound. And uh, I see lots of people describe it as, very convenient and you can use it. It's a transfer. You can say you can transfer the documents or do everything automatically. You don't have to wait for the long time to start the computer. Every time you just flip open the laptop, you can use it. And it's good, good with the paperwork. You are doing the paperwork. It is good and it's a good way to use the macbook it is the most convenient one okay mm. so you guys can learn from the descriptions here so time how about you what do you want to buy yes i want to buy pbs bioman PDS. Yes. What is it? Hey, ADP Biomass. What is that? It is a fish, um, food for fish. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, about about P A P ADP, they have high protein, fifty six point four percent, so high. For fish, yes, um, fish uh, is guppy fish is a small fish have uh, many colors in the tail. Nutritious for the fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what else? What? How do people describe? The, this is a fish food. How mm. do people describe it? Uh, they describe great for a newborn, small, grump, grumpy. Yes. <laughs> okay. They give 4.6 out of 5 star. 4.6 out of 5 star. Yes, yes, you can say that. Usually, <laughs> so it's like 90%. 90% of people are satisfied. Most people are satisfied. That is satisfied with the products. And how much is it? 
how much is the product? Do you know? I don't know. Okay, it's okay. You can check it later. So every day you can go up here. Everyone, you can go up here and you can check what do you want to buy or what do you buy every, what do you buy yesterday or what do you buy every day to see how do people describe it in English, all right? So thank you. Let's go to Yolk. Hello, Yolk. What do Hello. you want to buy? Yes. Okay. Um, the thing that I want to buy is um vitamin D. Uh-huh. Yeah, vitamin D. Um due to the COVID-19 situation, the uh, an increasing number of people who um who are infected COVID-19 is very um severe. It's very um uh it's very um serious. Yes, uh, it's, it's very serious, yes. So I, I have I have to find I have to find um some um medicine or vitamin to to take every day to prevent myself from getting the from getting the um COVID nineteen. So uh, and um yesterday um I talked to my friend who who is the, a doctor mm -hmm. and and she told me that um I should I should um take the vitamin D as well um apart from the um vitamin C and zinc so um now I I try to I try to buy um vitamin D yes. Okay, I want to tell you something. I just bought vitamin C and zinc. <laughs> no vitamin D and also vitamin B. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to buy it now. I've never heard of vitamin D. What is it? Is it good for yeah, sure, immune but, yeah. but my friend told me that um, you should eat um, vitamin D. Okay, okay, I will check it later. So maybe it's to for your immune system to boost immune system to oh, yes. make you not um, getting sick that easily. Maybe we everyone we can check vitamin D together and see what are what is the description there. Okay, maybe this one. This is the first one. D three. Oh, yeah, go away, go away. Um, there is no flavor, potency, support. Oh, really? You see on the bottle? Yes. In support for healthy bones and immune system. So I guess it right. So you can you guys can say vitamin D is the dietary supplement. Do you see the words here? Dietary supplements. So it's a type of dietary supplement. Diet means the food. Every day you have three meals, right? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So dietary uh, supplements means you what you take for extra. And also, you can get out when the girls are shopping. Oh, no. Splurge. Show. Oh, here support healthy bones, support immune system, and is with high potency formula. I think you can also read the description here. How do people talk about vitamin D? Okay. Oh, yes. like here, you see, they are small, soft gels and easy to swallow. So you can say vitamin D is in the soft gel and it's easy to swallow. See, gel cap is easy. Do you guys know what is a gel cap? Gel cap is like this. This is a gel cap or capsule. Mm -hmm. It's easy to swallow. What should I do with this? I'm holding, <laughs> I'm cooking it now. Oh. 
So you go home and can check more about vitamin D. Thank you for your information. Thank you. Okay, next one is Pray. Pray, how are you? Are you here? Maybe she's not here. Tom, oh, you're here. Hi. Hi, okay. Uh, I want to buy a matcha. Matcha? Yes. The drink, right? Yeah. Matcha. Uh, organic Japanese matcha mm. and a green tea, yes. I love, mm -hmm. I love masa so much. Yeah. And um, then I want to buy a, yes, it's like power of masa. How do you drink with the matcha? Do you drink it like latte? Yes, I, I love matcha latte. Oh. So if you want to describe matcha latte, you can see the description here will be easier for you. They said this has the enjoy the oh. elegant beverage is only one or two scoops and sip away, sip away, sip means a little bit, a little bit. So also like this one is with collagen. So you guys know collagen, 10 grams of collagen. So with the collagen and matcha together, you can support healthy hair, skin, nails, bone, and joints. Mm -hmm. How does it taste, the matcha latte? How does it taste? What's what the meaning of what's what the meaning of the taste? Uh huh. Does it taste smooth, or does it oh. taste bitter? Smooth. Do you know smooth means you can drink it very fast? Yes. Okay. So smooth and do you add sugar? Yes. And so we. What? I add uh, sugar and milk. Oh, and milk. Good. So you add, you would like to buy the matcha latte, oh no, matcha powder. And you will add sugar and milk to make it a smooth matcha latte, right? Okay, how do people describe the matcha? Oh. So you can yes. say in the benefit, you can support healthy hair, skin and nails and joints. And it is rich in antioxidants, which means you will not get old easily. And you can digest it and absorb by the body quickly Okay, you can learn from here. Digest it means you go to your body and you can go into your everywhere of your body. And also you guys can read a little bit about this part. Obviously, the person likes to drink with the cashew milk, honey, hot water, and with the powder. And it's better than Starbucks. You can say that. And you see, oh, so many descriptions uh, it says it tastes amazing so you guys if it tastes very good you can say it tastes amazing all right so okay. it will be your homework you have to find it and see what you want to say so for now we are going to take a break for five minutes and we are coming back later all right i'll see you in five minutes Okay, we will continue on the next part. Are, are we back? 
So now we are going to see, we are going to describe the book. Wait, first of all, let's talk about the interesting and fun city theme. So I will give you some adjectives to describe the place. Maybe it's the city, the city is lively, bustling, hectic, or thriving. Hectic means, hectic means it's very busy and crazy, okay? So you can say Bangkok's traffic is hectic. And thriving means people like to go at uh, lots of things, the business center and shopping area or traditional local market or even the street food temples. Okay. Cosmopolitan means a big city. If the city is big, you will say that is a cosmopolitan like Tokyo. Seoul, New York, London, Paris, okay, cosmopolitan, Bangkok. Multicultural means you will see lots of different cultures there. You will say that it's a multicultural city. And fascinating, I can say I am fascinated with something, something. Like I am fascinated with the temples in Thailand. Okay. And also next one, unique. What is unique? You can say, I will give you one, one sentence structure and then you can know, or you can remember. Uh, somewhere or someplace is unique in its landscape or in, in, in unique in its uh, cuisine. Cuisine means food or it is unique in its culture or costumes. Costumes means what you wear, okay? Thailand, Japan, England, France is unique in its landscape. It's unique in its uh, cuisine. It's in unique in its culture. Unique means you cannot find it anywhere else. All right. And the special atmosphere, you can always enjoy the special atmosphere there. Sightseeing means people like to go and travel there. Entertainment. On the unforgettable experience, you enjoyed every minute. Okay, okay, you know. So use the adjectives here or something from you guys. You are going to tell me an interesting city or the fun city. Maybe this is the city you have been to before. Maybe like Paris, London, New York, or the place you want to go. Okay. I will give you guys three minutes to prepare and you are going to share with us again.
Are you guys ready? I think we can share now. Okay, Jacket, how about the city you want to go or you have been there before? Okay. Mm. Well, I have I have a I have been to Taiwan before, so it's about a couple a couple years ago before the pandemic. So I would say that Taiwan is a lively city. I went from Kaohsiung, and there are a lot of street food markets, street street food um walking street food markets as well. So this is a very special. Atmosphere that I could be spending my time with my friends, and that is so unforgettable experience for me. So if I have a chance, I would love to visit there to feel the enjoy every time, enjoy every minute that we spending time together. So that's what very too quickly time, and right now is already almost two or three years. So I would say that the Taiwan is really cost more poetry and environmental friendly because they have bicycle and they have how to manage the garbage as well. Thank you. Thank you. So environmental friendly. What do you like in the night market? Do you try? Well, I love. Um, I love you know. Uh, people in Thailand really love spicy foods, right? So they are. Um, I'm not sure about that, but it's it's like a meat bar, but actually it's made of goat or beef, and it have a spicy sauce called la or mala something like that. Oh yes, mala means <laughs> that means means very spicy. It looks yummy. Oh, I want to go to Nepal. I miss that picture. I miss that. I want to go there. Okay. Oh, come now. Can <laughs> can we travel now? No, we can't. <laughs> the last country. Wednesday. <laughs> last country I traveled to was Bangkok as well. I, I went to Bangkok, uh, two years ago, twenty twenty. Yes, twenty twenty. February twenty twenty or twenty nineteen, no twenty twenty last year last year February I went to Bangkok. That was the last trip. <sighs> It's almost two years. I hate mm -hmm. I hate COVID. But how about the COVID in Thailand now, everyone? It's very bad now. Well, for my book, it yeah, it's 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 very bad. In my hometown as well, I'm not from here. I'm from Parasima, and the mm. pace there is very severe. It's more than four hundred thousand in my districts. <gasps> oh my god! And here, oh. in here as well, in Bujokrikan as well, in my workplace, they need to cost, and everything is costing. So basically, it's it's bad, and we cannot go outside. Oh, everyone, stay safe. Don't go out. Thank you. Oh my God! What about Taiwan? Hmm. In in May and June, it was bad, but it's not that bad. And we had the peak around two hundred people every day, like for two two weeks. But now it's getting stable, so we are open. We open everything for for a month, and today only. Today is like fourteen cases. Risk every day is like ten to twenty cases. Mm. Yes, it's stable, but you know people are still panic about the pandemic. Oh, I don't like it. You mm -hmm. still need to wear the mask, and and from today, yes, from today, you can go to the restaurant again. But I'm afraid maybe. If we go back to the restaurant or everyone go out again, then next next week or next next week will be another pandemic. <gasps> oh my god, I hate it. Okay, let's go to Thai. Thai, how about you? Do you want to share the city you like?
Are you here? Hello. Okay, we will come back to you. How about yolk? Are you here? Yes. Hmm. Boise, huh. do you want to talk about? Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about the favorite city I like most. Um, is uh Osaka. Um, that yeah. Um, I go there. I I went there around um three years ago with my family. Uh -huh. I go there for sightseeing and um shopping. Um, the 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 city is very lively and I think it's very um unique in its um culture and custom. Um, I go the I go um a place that um is like a um create for the life of people in ancient time, and mm -hmm. I. And I I wore the kimono dress mm -hmm. and take and and took a picture with my family. Uh, it's really fun and uh, unforgettable experience for me. So I, I I love to go there very much. Thank you. Good. You can you say that there is a place where you can experience the traditional Japanese costume kimono, right? Yes. Oh, no. How about Japanese food? Do you like it? Oh, yes. I, <laughs> yeah, I like it very much. <laughs> I wow. love um, sashimi. <laughs> sashimi, sushi, yes. and ramen, right? Yes. Oh, so yummy. Oh, I want to go to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like how many years everyone's been out. Oh. Yes, Two or two or three years ago. <laughs> Almost two or three years. Yes. Can you imagine how long it's going to take? I, I hate it. But overall, it's a very good. I, I hope it will be so. It will be um get well soon in the uh, next year. <laughs> I hope. <gasps> Everyone need to get the vaccine. Everyone needs to get vaccinated first. Yes. Right. Mm. How about in your hometown? Is the COVID serious? Yeah, now uh, I, I live in Bangkok and Bangkok is the red zone. So it's very severe situation now. Um, it's not enough. Um, the bed or the, the room in the hospital for take care of the patient. Oh. Oh, it's very bad for me and I think uh, everyone is uh, have to take care of yourself mm. Mm -hmm. yes we need to take care of ourselves yes. everyone stay safe don't go yeah, out i oh, so frustrated okay thank you for your sharing how about pray hey not pray pray sorry <laughs> Pride. Okay. <laughs> Pride. Okay, How about the city you want to talk about? In my dream, I want to reach a uh, natural city because I love, I, I like, I like a uh, culture mm -hmm. and culture about a natural land mm -hmm. and uh, Nutella in natural land is a is the best thing yeah and natural land are next to a billion mm. yet yeah, I, I want to visit that I want to visit there Okay, so what adjectives can you use to describe the place? Okay. Uh, a special mode, a mode here. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Huh? 
and what else? More. Okay. Oh, my internet is lost. Okay. Sorry, my net internet is lost. Okay, so you said uh for special atmosphere. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can, can hear. You hear me? Okay. Mm. Do you have more adjectives to describe the place? So is it a tourist attraction? Tourist attraction. I can't hear. Oh, I think maybe your Wi-Fi is not good. Okay, we will come back to you later, okay? Hello? You think about this and we come back to you later, all right? Okay, so everyone, we are going to talk about uh, historic, uh, no, we talk about the friendly thing. Friendly means a place, not just a restaurant, okay? Maybe a shop, a store, a grocery store, the supermarket, anywhere is okay. Then why do you like to go there? Maybe the library, because it's always welcoming. You can say the place is welcoming. I means everyone should go to go there and they will welcome you and say, hello, welcome to the store. You are inviting. You can say the place is inviting. Right? And also people are warm and approachable polite we are polite they are polite or people are polite they're thoughtful means they care about what you like so every time i go to the restaurant they need they know what i want to order so they are thoughtful and attentive they notice that i don't like coffee with milk so they never put milk in my coffee so they are attentive Okay, it has great atmosphere and it makes you feel at home. Make you feel at home is a very good place. And the service was excellent. Okay, the service was excellent. And also, there's nothing to, too much to ask means whatever you want to ask them is good. It's always okay. You say you go to the restaurant, you want to ask for extra rice, they will give you extra rice. If you want to refill the drink, it's also for free. So there's nothing too much to ask. And it's an unforgettable evening. Okay, I enjoy the unforgettable evening there, something like that. So everyone, think about a friendly thing. It can be a restaurant, it can be a library, it can be school, it can be a store, supermarket, movie theater. Oh, what else? A temple or a company or your workplace your company or workplace or your home. Uh, don't talk about homes, my friend's home or relative's home, okay? So I will, also, I will give you three minutes as well to think about this topic, let's go.
Two more minutes. If you don't know the words, you can tell me or you can search on the internet. Okay, time's up. We have one more topic and we can finish the day. Jack Kids, how about uh, the place you want to share? Okay, so I would say I have a group of friends when I was internship at school and we really love to, we really love being to co cafe shop. I mean, because there is have a really warm environment, warm mm -hmm. ambience. So I think that the owner there is so welcoming us as well. So we like, really love to enjoy taking a photo together. Mm -hmm. And that is unforgettable moments for me as well. Because after there, we didn't meet yet because I moved to another problem as well and as into the work life um, path so we didn't meet since last two years so every single time that we met we feel like this make it feel like at home mm -hmm. as well so i think that's it's very awesome that i really missed them as well thank you if you want to share the topic and use your personal experience or a personal story that will be a very good adding point, a plus point will be a, a plus to your story and it was a plus to your score. So because we, they lo everyone loves stories, it's good. Internship owners will come in and you like to take picture with them. And also you said you moved to another province. So that's why you, you miss the, the people there. So you, that is a very, very, very good moment for you, right? Un, unforgettable moments. Mm. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, how about Thai? Are you here now? Yes. Thai. Uh, what is the place you want to share? I like this is a university. University? Yes. Okay because they have many places and have many view in there. Yes, um, uh, like when you feel like you want energy, you can go to gym. Or if you want peace place, you can go to library. Yes, and people in there make me feel like home. They warm and comfortable and welcoming. Um, the this is university have festival like some kind of day, like um, 
and he was interested. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. It's good. You talk about the university, you don't just talk about one place. You also mentioned if you want to sports, to exercise, you can go to the gym. And if you want to be quiet, you have your own moment. So do you guys know this phrase, zone out? You can go to the library to zone out. Zone out is not bad. Zone out is like you think nothing. You have nothing in your mind. You just like meditate or sometimes you feel the environment. So you zone out a little bit. It means to forget about the pressure, forget about the stress, okay? So that is a good place to zone out or to meditate. Sometimes I need to meditate. I think meditation is good for my, myself. And people make me feel like home because they are friendly. And also you can say a person is approachable. Approachable means everyone can be the per that person's friend, okay? Approachable, it's very good. Thank you for your sharing. Let's go to Yolk. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about uh, a small a small resort that I that I went uh there around uh last month. Yeah, there are there are around um fifteen room there, and um the staff is the staffs are very polite and welcoming. They um they are. They have a warm welcome for me with a welcome drink, and the resort is really good atmosphere because um it's next to the beach. When I uh, woke up in the morning, I can um I can walk around. I can walk in the beach and um have a little exercise, for example, uh, such as um running or um swimming in the sea in the in the in the beach yeah and um in the evening i i, I can um have a din have a dinner at the restaurant in the resource and i can and and i can um look around the sea the it's very um like a broadened view uh -huh. I, see, I, I see the the sea and the sky in the blue in the very clean blue yeah, yeah that um I'm, I'm very um love love it very much oh good so you talk about the restaurant in the resource and they give you the welcome drink and you can do the exercise as well in the resort you can go jogging you can we you, we um uh, Actually, it's running is like you're running <laughs> somewhere or you are running like a competition. So jogging, jogging on the okay. swimming in the ocean, right? Yes. Mm. And as as a whole, you can say that was an enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. It's like the experience very much. Very good. So you said it is near your hometown, right? The hotel, the resorts. Um no um I I, I go there um for relax. <laughs> oh my God. for relaxing uh is um uh it take around um three hours from Bangkok to go to Hoi Hin. So far away! Oh my God! <laughs> I want the trip. Oh my God! Okay, thank you. Thank you. The last person will be Pry. Oh, Pry, okay. Uh, I introduce my university. Okay. Mm. You can visit here. Uh, my university uh, at in Saban. That I, I feel like at home because it uh, have a 
B uh, belong in school and help a cow cow to running exercise in their uh, Uh, just one minute, please. Okay. In the park, park for running for exercise. Yes, I, I love this. And have a uh, cook. Cook. Uh, she, she is so with was excellence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I unforgettable evening at uh, my university. Too hot. I stay in four years. Yeah. Okay, so you can say the four year. Four years. The four year can be an adjective. The four year university life is unforgettable oh. so you can use this sentence in the, okay. first, the first sentence so you can say like i want to talk about my university the four-year university life is unforgettable first second and finally like this thank you so what is the first i will help you to rephrase again yes, yes. The four years university life is a uh, unforgettable work. First of all, my university made me feel like at home. Mm. And oh my, the they have a uh, cook. cook she, she is so with what excellent. And she is excellent. So this was excellent, yes. In cooking? Yeah. Cooking. Okay. And so so for so what excellent. Okay, so next time you can say she's good at something. Okay. So second, what is the second one? And my university has a park for uh, exercise and learning. A bar? Drinking? Park. Park. Bar? A park. Park. Park, yeah. P-R-A-R-K. Yeah, P-A-R-K. For us to exercise like this and yes okay hmm. and <laughs> do you like okay. do you like to go to the park yes very much all right so you can say i enjoyed so at the end you can say i enjoyed every moment at my university like this okay okay thank you the story and you have the topic sentence and first and second like that okay very good next part thank you so much no well, you're welcome you have everyone can ask more if you have more questions so first a final step in preparation think of an example and to demonstrate each thing so you can say that the city was interesting we visited famous landmarks if you don't know this word you can write this down the landmarks is like okay you go to paris you will go to eiffel tower you will go to see mona lisa in the museum those are the landmarks means when you think about the place you will definitely go there okay and attractions such as attractions oh my god 
the direction. Okay, like talk um where? Oh, in New York. You will go to you will go to the Statue of Liberty, right? The Statue of Liberty. And we lost track of time. We lost track of time means you forgot. You forgot the time because it was so fun. It was so interesting to see everything around you. So you don't know what time is it, right? So you can say we visited famous landmarks and attractions such as Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum in Paris. We lost track of time because there were, there were too many paintings to see and to, to watch in the museum. And all the food in Paris was so delicious and we couldn't get enough. You can learn this one. We, or I couldn't get enough of French food means how much they give you, you can eat them all. Means, means how much you like it. I couldn't get enough of French desserts. I cannot get enough of French views. Means I can live in France. I can live in Paris. Everything is so good. All right. If it's a restaurant, you can say, the waiter really made us feel special. They even surprised us with a birthday cake. If you don't know so many adjectives, think about a story, what happens to you. Like when you travel, you got lost and you ask for directions or you lost your passport. That's something we want to listen to. That is the story. We like the stories. Okay. All right. Next part. So you have to give the theme, use the adjectives and the examples and try to listen. You can use the recorder to record yourself and listen to yourself first and try to make the adjectives, easy adjectives to the adjectives that are more difficult. You say, how can I find the adjectives are more difficult? Let me show you how. For example, wait a moment, please. You go to, Cambridge Dictionary and maybe like this, then you just type in fascinating. No, 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 easy words first, interesting. And you type go, then you see interesting here, right? So it's a, an interesting book and this is the description. And oh, it's not a good example. Oh, it's not a good example. There's no more words here. Okay, let me find, okay, maybe like good. Oh, see, good. So if you say someone is good, you can say someone is well behaved. So that is better than good. Good is not good. Remember, good is not good because it's too easy for you. Good is not good. You just say, hey, this, this one, the, right? The, I think I know, I'm learning tight now. So well-behaved or say correct or desirable. You say, teacher, I don't know what does that mean desirable and you press this one as well. Then you will go to the, this word. You see, pleasing or worth having. Something is desirable. A desirable residence means the place everyone wants to live, and which means it's a pleasing place, okay? So that is how you find the adjectives, more adjectives to describe the things. Even the verbs, you can find more verbs in the dictionary. 
every day you have to do this. And wait, I want to just talk about that one. Why is it going? Oh, helpful. You're saying exercise is good for me and you just change it for helpful. You can say exercise is helpful. Exercise is beneficial, okay? This word is better. It's like band seven. Any questions for today? So that is how you can find more words for you. And you have to practice every day. Like you go to Amazon, like what I said, you go to Amazon, you type in the thing, you type in the words and products, and you try to read the description, or you go to the book review. If you don't know how to learn the adjectives and verbs, I will suggest you guys to read the book review, like Harry Potter book review then you will see how people describe it. Oh, like here. You will learn different words from, from, the, from the description here. So you type in the book you like and you go to the book reviews, okay? That is a good way of learning English. So any questions? If no, then that will be the end of today. So thank you guys again for joining to our class. If you have more questions, you can tell Tom. He will, he will tell me. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.